Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you happen to be on this transcendent planet called Earth, I hope you are having a sensational day, even right where we located. As always, welcome to my 3D channel. I'm using one of the world premier 3D packages, Blender, which is sharply rising to the top. My subject for the day is I want to use shading. Now, I've been experimenting with the shading for primarily a year, but I'm not a 3D artist by occupation. My occupation is an educator. So that's where most of my focus are. I get to Blender whenever I can. But one of the things in the back of my mind is trying to become adept at using the shaders. I know geometry nodes are the thing right now. Geometry nodes. But as we make the object with the geometry nodes, <laughs> it's a high probability you're going to be throwing on that shader. So for me, dear Blender artist, after you learn how to model, which I know how to do, I basically know how to model anything I want to make. It may take some, a little bit of time, but I'm at that level now. Realistically, if you've seen some of my videos, I can model basically almost anything I want to make. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now I want to get into the world of shaders. And if you don't know what shaders are, it's applying a texture to a surface. It can be uh, crevices on a wall, old spots on the ground, rust on your house, or the texture of your uh your sweater that's where shaders come into play so shading mass and that is one of the hottest things you can do in a 3d world if you play video games that thing littered with shaders not just no uh polygons and meshes it is filled with shaders so that's the primary thing i want to master shaders now for the last year that i've been in shaders i've been like you I've been watching YouTube videos, and I've been buying, I've been buying courses off of different websites, such as Udemy, my primary one, and others, and making simple things with the shape. But I always wanted to know, how in the world can you make the sign? The math concept. I'm going to give an example. How in the world can you make this Y equals Sign X. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I've got, and then I discovered this too. In Blender, for the shader, there's no such thing as a, for the most part, an equal sign. So you have to transform that. I have to take Y equals sign X and make it to sign of x minus y so that was one of my big hurdles realizing there's no equal equals zero but you know technically it can be and the zero is just a real number it can be any number there but in this case zero so this is the most important part right here is setting that up which I'm going to do in a couple minutes. So we understand that. So let me erase this. If I can. Got a day key now. Oh, I, okay, I can erase it. So let me. So that's what I want to I worry about. That sign. I'm going to make that. And you're going to see what I first got when I made it. So let me, let me start right now making that. You're going to see what I first got. What made me come scratching my head. I want to add my. I like to have my um, texture core in it. I don't really need it, but. I just like to use it because I like it since I'm since I'm having a, I, just, I just have like a plane here. I like to use a UV setting. So I hook it up. I take it up to UV. Oops, I still got it on my console. I take off my console. I can hit T again and just hook UV up to this. And we see we're gonna have that little color grid. I hope if it shows up. Oh, there it is. I know what that means. I'm gonna go that again someday. But then I want to add my add, go to the converter, 
separate X, Y, Z, or you can say R, G, B is basically the same anyway. Or some minor differences. And I did that. Then, I had, I want to add another converter. I want to add a math, com add converter. Just regular math, not vector math, just math. Then I want to call it sinx. Sin, where am I sin? Oh, right here, sin x. And then you remember that equation that I had right here. Here's that equation I had. What I had to type in, I had to type in sin, or I had to set up my nose to be this right here. Sin x minus y. So the biggest thing I had to add that subtract node in there. Let's go back, get rid of that. So I had my sin. I'm hit shift D, shift D, right here. Then I'm gonna have a uh, subtract. Oh, I got that. Now I can take my Y, you know it's equal to zero. Let me make it more technical. It's equal to zero. So now I'm mathematically precise. That's what it's equal to. All right, I did that. So now I can do this. And remember, it don't have to. It can be any number, which this will cover, because it covers. And there we go. If you see the first level of my curve, that's step one. So it worked, but it looks so big, so I have to change the size of it. There's many ways of doing it, but for me, I just like to add uh, the the mapping vector. That's what I like adding. Let's see what happened. There we go. Now I want to see if I can scale my X and Y. Let's see what happened. Okay. Oh, boy. And then have to play around with these daggone numbers here. Eh, eh. Okay, we see, uh, there we, we, we see that hump. We see that little hump right there. We see the hump. Let me scale it down some more. Ah, 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 ah. Let me drag it over some more. Can I? Why? Z, what does Z do? I did this many times, but you know how it is when you're trying to experiment with something. It never works out the second time around perfectly. Oh, I can add it. I, I want to add, I can put an ad in there and see if, what happened if I put an ad in here. I add. I'm going to put an ad in there so I can move it around more better. Right. Converter, math. Just, I'm just going to put an ad in there because it'll give me more control. Shift D. I just want to have a little bit more control. Let's see what happens. Okay. Why wow, it looks so dark? Let me turn this off and see what happens. M. M. Oh, I know what's wrong. Let me mess with this some more, see what happens. All right, that's what I got right there. But earlier, I was able to make the scale smaller. Right, since I'm doing this again, I gotta try to fight with this thing. Okay, like it's getting small. See? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is, right there. <sighs> Let me see if I can shift it over. Why? Nope. Why well, don't? That's why I want to put that ad right there. I want to put that ad right there. Let me jump out. Let me put it back on. See what happens. And that's another thing about these nodes. See, that's what turns people off because it's, it's a lot of experimentation and it's a lot of math. I don't hear a lot of people. Okay, let me see. See, there it is. There's the sine curve right there. Because the sine curve, this is how the sine look. Let's see again. Mathematically, the sine curves look like this. Zap. 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 But, now let me turn this one back on. But that's the sine curve, but 
earlier I had it smaller, so it looked like the, the curves were closer together. Okay, that, that takes it up. That takes it up. Is it left and right? Still, why make it why smaller? Uh, I want to bring this accent some more. Now, why is not showing it? See, okay, let me go up some more. Let me see what happened if I was scaleless. Yeah, see, it don't matter. I'm gonna just bring it up some more. Bring it up. See, it's it's huge. Still. Okay, there we go. We see it. See, we see it now. Scale X, scale Y. Okay, there we go. Let me drag it up. Let me bring it up. That's it. That is our sign curve. See, like I said there, people, we watch and see now, if I cut it off, which I got to experiment with, I'm going to experiment. Let me make sure, let me increase, decrease my amplitude. Oh, brother. Can I scale a height? No, scale Y. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. I want it like that. And now, since it looks like that, there's some other effects I can do with it. But I never, ever saw any video cover how in the world can we use those trigonometric functions? Have you ever seen a video? I saw them using add and multiply and all that stuff. But this is the first one, at least that I'm making. I'm showing you a trigonometric function and <coughs> that is able to be used. So, like I said there, people, before I go, I think the shaders may turn off a lot of people. It may turn a lot of them off. It may turn off a lot of people. Because of the shaders, and I don't care if it's in Blender, Maya, Houdini, 3ds Max, the list goes on and on until finish. Whatever, whatever one you use, if they got shaders, every shader requires some mathematics. But now, at least for me, dear people, since I got that sign itch, let's say I've been thinking about that for a while. How can I make sign? I know they make a dumb line or parabola. You, you all saw those videos with the, with the parabola and the line, but nothing more advanced like the sign curve. But now I know what to do, dear people. So, like me, keep people, keep adding to your knowledge, keep pushing forward. Till next time, Bender family. Witty family, peace.